And good morning, Nick. Want to take a moment here and review the lesson we had yesterday. I mean, also, I want to add, though, it was a pleasure seeing you yesterday. I'm glad we had a chance to catch back up and uh, see how everything's going. I'm glad to hear that uh, your wife's doing well, your uh, children are doing well, and you're doing well as you're doing good as well. So, but as we get started into this, uh, if we look to the right hand side here, this is a picture of what first came in the uh, in the lesson yesterday. And this first swing here was a little bit heavy, but one of the first things we notice here is I'm going to point off right here to your hands. You know, it's almost a, a, a first point. It's bam. You know, it's almost like you're picking that club right up with that right hand. And we kind of talked about that, saying that the gentleman before told you maybe use a little more right hand. Well, I don't necessarily think that's the case with you, that you need to do that, because you can see right there off the bat what's happening here. Like I said, you're getting a little handsy, getting a little armsy with the swing. So what happens is that club automatically gets and starts going right behind your body like we see here. So you get up to the top, as you get the shoulder high, you can tell that, or even at, Let's say waist high here, you can see that the club is so laid off and so flat here compared to the ball that we've talked about in the past that you know you've got no chance but to slightly go over. Now I will say this, you can see how because of that, that right hand is a little more involved. You pick it up and you almost bring it very steep down into the ground, a little over the top. You're trying to get the hands to uh, catch back up and fall back into place. But what happens here is you get into here, the body starts going forward and you hit it a little heavy all right now the first thing that we talked about and we didn't talk about that at all but I'm gonna say this is probably what we'll work on for the next lesson is getting those hands back into that position but I think you know the first thing that we initially talked about was your ball position talked about getting that ball position and, you know it's very easy to do when you get back into uh, coming back into play and get back in the swing of things and you know this winter hasn't been quite conducive for us to sit there and play all the time like we may have done in the past but when we look here we'll see that you know what I did is we found out that your the width of your stance you know being sh about shoulder width apart is about 18 inches apart so what we want to do I'd say the first couple times you go to the range I want you to lay down a uh, yardstick if you got one if not take one of these uh, these position uh, one of these uh, poles or uh, limonades uh, mark off 18 inches and then mark your center on there and then lay down one of the alignment aids over the top of it so you can kind of visually see that and it starts to become a little more comfortable to you or you don't even have to use it I mean you should use a golf club I mean you use a golf club and use a lineman aid put it at your toe line like we see here as we see here and then put the other put your golf club right across the top of it you know that's a pretty simple fix now next then what we talked about here kind of goes back and you know I was taking a different approach rather than taking it straight back like we talked before and being all right hand what I talked about here for you here is instead of picking it up I wanted to create a little more of the shoulder turn I wanted you to get a little more of the shoulder involved more of this left hand involved so what I wanted you to do very simple is I want you to push first push the club back you know, you had an alignment aid out here to the side, and I want you to just basically follow that back. As you follow that back, you know, one of the things you see at waist high, look at the amount of shoulder turn you have here on the right-hand side compared to what we see on the left-hand side. You know, second, you can see how everything's nice and tight and not necessarily, it's not the nicest thing, but everything is tight and in the inside here. Look over here to the right hand side. You're making that shoulder turn, getting some extension onto it. So with this drill, I had you do is take it back with the left hand, take it up to the top. We add the right hand onto it, nice and easy with the right hand. And even look at that position of just already, look at the difference of where the club is there. All right, club is still a little laid off there in that position. But when we look here, let me take you back down. Hold on. All right, about there. All right. So when we see that, that's about 43. Let's see. You know, it's already a seven degree difference. You know, you're getting that club back more down where we want to see, and that was just natural. Let's see as you bring the club back down, what happens here? Drop the club back to the inside. That's what we're wanting to see. Now that was the first couple here, and I had you. We we swung a couple times doing that, and then I finally had you hit a golf ball with it. Okay. Let me put the club. All right, here we go. 
we're back here with it. Uh, we got a little back on it there, but for the most part, look at your left hand. Dramatically different here. We get back up, getting a little around you there. But still, for the most part, as you come back down, you can see, just in this case here, bam, bam, bam. Better contact, better turn through the shot. Night and day difference. So when we're looking at this, that was the, that's the first drill I wanted you to do. Now when we turn it sideways here, you can kind of see the same thing. It's here. Hold on. Here we go. Look how much more that shoulder turns right there. Big difference here. You take it up to the top. Look at the, already, Nick. I mean, that's a big. You've got these shoulders both turned back to the target. This is all the further we need. You know, when you're trying to get way up here, you know, you're getting up here in an area that you don't need to get in order to get the shoulder turn in an unnatural position because you get disconnected here as well. Look at here. This is perfect. Great shoulder turn. Hips turn through. Turn down. And one of the things we'll see is we'll see the lag in the club coming into a little bit of the right hand probably coming into play there, but definitely a lot better position coming down and turning through the shot. Okay. Uh, the next thing we talked about when we look at this here is I kind of I want you to have the idea of being able to turn through, and I'm actually going to do that full screen because we're at this side screen, it's not going to show you. But what I want you to do is I want you to take one of the alignment aids, and I want you very simple to play catch with your wife, play catch with your son. But all I want you to do, I want you to turn back here with a, like a tennis ball, a head cover, anything. But I just want you to turn back, get up to the top, get to the top swing, shoulders are turned back to the target. But what I want you to do is put that old uh, golf bag there, or put a one of your alignment aids right here in the ground. And I want you to lead with this left hip, let the hands, the hands fall down and through, you're driving through with the hips, and you're turning through. It's not necessarily your hands throwing the ball, but it's the hips, everything turning through on a more natural position, turning through the shot. That's what I'm wanting to see. When we see that big difference between the two, I think it makes all the difference in the world being able to turn through. Now, when we go from there, when we go back to the golf club, what I want you to see is I want you to take the club back right up to the top. Now, as you took it back to the top, we're up here, and all I want you to do is just everything leading with the hips. Getting that left hip to initiate the drive, and just turning down and through the shot. And then as we come through, we come right back and through. So effortless compared to where we were when we look right. Uh, I don't have that right there. Even when we look right here. You know, this is with the drill, but you can see a bigger difference here. Get me out of the way there. But. Basically, we're here. Come on. We're here. You don't want to see that little bump right there. Let me show you right here. That line right here. You can kind of watch that left tip there. Look at the difference between that. You know, look at the body. You can tell the hips have slid through. Look at the angle of the body here compared to. <coughs> excuse me. Compared to the angle of your body here. Because your body is your lower body is turning through rather than sliding through. Big difference between those two night and day because you can see on the right hand side where the bodies turn through the shot rather than the lower body sliding through. So as we look at these Nick, that's those, those are the two things that we focused on. Actually three things. One ball position, two that left hand, getting that left hand to start to swing rather than the right hand bringing it back, getting that shoulder turn, kind of taking it back down the line then going up. Uh, once you do that two sets of 20 or in that regards. Second um, second drill then was starting you know getting the hips turned through 
rather than driving so much with that upper body, that larger body, we want to drive more with the lower body, getting that lower, bar, lower body initiated, turning through into that wall or into that bag. So when we look at it here, when you look on the left-hand side, that's what we're wanting to see more of, uh, being able to see that turn back and seeing that turn through. And you could Honestly, when you did that, that was just night and day difference between where you were and everything looks so good coming back, coming down, and through the shot. All right. So if you have any questions, Nick, by all means, I want you to give me a call at the store, or give me a call on my cell phone, six uh, it's three one four uh, seven two four six five three nine, or shoot me an email at mwyatt seventy three at gmail dot com. Thank you, sir.